Hey, what is up everyone? So for this week, um, I mentioned about cleaning up my car or just like right after having a dog inside. So you guys know I did have my dog inside my car, but unfortunately he kind of, although I put like a carpet, like it was kind of a cover to protect the car from, he still somehow managed to lift it up and put all his uh, paws and fur everywhere. So let's go over the damage that has been done. And actually, before we continue, I want to show you guys that I did put up a new banner on my car. A lot of people who are on my Instagram will already know that I got this guy from 91 and up. It's a small company, started about last year. Um, honestly, they're pretty cool, they're pretty chill. And honestly, I like the banner. <laughs> Unfortunately, I got the wrong one. I thought it was going to be black and then white lettering, but I got the opposite. But I mean, it still works. I mean, just look at this car. It just looks so good. I mean, all I need to do is have a slight drop on there and a lip, and we should be a lot better. You may see there's like some hairs here and there, especially on this end right here. You can see some dog hair. Let me get my sweater out of the way. And you can see, although my seats were folded down, a lot of dog hair, lots of it, got onto here. Let's go to the back, open up the hatch, and let's see. But for now, even with this being on the ground down and everything, there was still so much hair to go on to here. As I said, I went to the beach. You can see a lot of sand here, a lot of dog hair, and yeah. There doesn't seem to be like any stains, so I think stain-wise we should be fine, but I'm gonna still go over it. And then of course, my Puku Pal, my trusted Puku Pal, where I always take everywhere. Like I said, these guys are really nice. I'm actually gonna start buying another one pretty much soon, but I love it, I use it every day, take it with me. It takes a beating and honestly, check it out. The link is down below. For all this, I will be using some Turtle Wax Pet Mess Kit. Honestly, I saw this at the store and I was like, huh, let's try it out. I mean, I saw this, I was gonna do something else, but let's try this out and see how it works. Honestly, all I'm gonna do is vacuuming up almost everything first and then afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and use this kit to clean it inside. Especially all the hairs, because that's gonna be the tough part. They said that the sponge right here then we can do any uh, odor or stain remover and the freshener. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I showed you guys before, this was like full of sand, full of hair. And with just vacuuming it, it actually took out a lot of it. But I mean, this is just me being kind of nitpicky, but you can still see hairs here. And most some hairs over here, over here. So there's like little hairs here and there. So those are the things that we're gonna try to clean up as much as possible. And I'm also gonna take this guy off. So if you guys don't know, just take this guy down, unhinge from here and here. And even this guy here is filled with hairs. So I laid this kind of like this, but on this side over here, because if you own the Focus or any Ford Focus in this case for the uh, MK3 models, you'll notice that this part here sits higher then when the seats are bent down, so I put this just to level it and put the cover over it. Um, and as you can see, it's still pretty much straightforward. My dog did not bend it, and he's 55 pounds. Maybe a 100 pound dog might bend it, but right now, so far, 55 did not do anything to this. So, all right, let's just start unboxing this guy here. So, here is your power out uh, clean. It's more of a steam remover and freshener or more like an odor removal. And that's basically it on this end. So I believe this is like the step two or step three. Here's a sponge that takes off all the dog hairs. So you're gonna be able to use this a lot. And this is their non-toxic uh, odor and freshener. So let's get into this. So I went, and get, went ahead and did a second pass and this is as much hair as I got. This is the first side I cleaned it off and then this is the second side. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do the uh, cover that goes up here, and let's see how that goes. So my best guess is if your dog is shedding a ton, it'll help take off a lot of it, but for my dog, his hairs are a little bit finer. You can see that. I don't think this will pick it up as much, but it feels like a huge accumulation of it, it'll pick it up right up. So now that I'm all done with just wiping it down, cleaning for hairs. I'll be using the stain remover and odor remover. I already did the whole back seat, 
Uh, I did that too. They didn't have a lot of hairs after vacuuming because, like I said, vacuuming should be the first step you do into cleaning your car just to make sure to take off almost every single particle there. So all I'm going to do for this guy is really just uh, do a light spray and just clean it up with a microfiber towel. I chose this white one. Um, it's the only one white one I have and we'll see if we pick up any dirt or not. So right after blot drying everything, you can see here, there's really no dirt, like it's very light. So I think removing any excess dirt that was on there has already been removed. Okay, so now moving on to the uh, Odor X. This is the Odor Eliminator that's non-toxic. All it says is to spray it on here and that's all we're gonna do. Okay, so basically I'm making this outro a week after I cleaned the car with the uh, Pet Mess Kit and honestly, it, I wanted to give it a full review and actually give some information on this um, or just to what I'm what my experience was so uh, first off uh, wiping down as much hairs as possible kind of did work but there is a couple hairs here and there like I don't know if the camera's gonna catch it but there's about two hairs there there's you know little hairs here and there okay and I, I try my hardest to scrub everything uh, off as much as possible and it may have been through my lack of you know vigorous scrubbing or it, it just the the sponge wasn't picking it up as much uh, with the stain remover there wasn't really any stains to remove to be honest it mainly just worked as an uh, odor eliminator basically that's that's what it mainly worked as and lastly the uh, I believe it's called the odor X that thing actually works it does say there it says warning the smell can stay up to 30 days um it did stay i didn't put any uh uh air freshener in here i do have one that i've always had but that thing doesn't even smell at all and the smell of the uh, odor eggs i could smell it it's a really good smell it's not a like a really like potent or like really like nasty smell no it's actually a really pleasant smell to it overall would i use it again yes i would definitely use it again so if you guys did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you guys have any questions regarding the pet mess kit, you know, just put that down below, comment that down below and let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right.